All right, you guys, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad. Uh, this hour, we are going to be uh, practicing our reading and pronunciation as we read through a handful of short stories. Uh, this is a class for my beginning and intermediate students. I will be uh, uh, handing out the stories uh, in just a bit uh, in the Verbling and Google chat boxes, OK? Uh, let's see who we have in class so far. Hi there, uh, is it uh, Ikawa? Hello. Hi there, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How about you? I'm doing great, thank you. And Ikawa, where are you from? I'm from Japan. Okay, uh, what part of Japan? Uh, Tokyo. Tokyo, okay, very good. Nice, nice to meet you, good to have you here. Nice to meet you too. Okay, how about Heidi? Hi there, Heidi, how are you? Heidi, can you hear me okay? I'm sorry, I'm muted. There we go. <laughs> Hello, nice to see you again. I'm fine, nice thank you. Nice to see you as well. Very good, very good. Good to see you, good to see you here. Um, okay, uh, how about, uh, let's see, Amaudi? Hi there, Amaudi, how are you? I'm a fine teacher, and you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Good to have you yes. back in class. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, let's see here. All right, you guys, let's... Uh, um, we may have some more people coming in, uh, but we shall see. All right, let's uh, let me hand out our first story, and we are okay. So we started on. All right, we started on this one the other day, but we did not finish it. All right, here is our first story, you guys. Okay, the link is in the Verbling chat box as well as the Google chat box. Okay, and let's see, we have some other people joining us. Hi there, Jessica, how are you? Hi, good morning, oh, good night. <laughs> good night, yeah, and Jessica, where are you from? I'm from Brazil. From Brazil, okay, very nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay, we also have, uh, let's see, Amparo, Amparo, welcome to class. All right, let's try uh, Long. Hi there, Long. How are you? Hello, Chen. I'm good. Hi. Nice to, meet, nice to meet you again. Very good. Nice to meet you as well. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Salvatore. Hi there. How are you? Hi, Chad. Hi. Hi. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing very well. Thank you. Nice to have you back. Thank you. Okay. How about um, T? Hi there, T. How are you? Hi, Chad. I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you. Nice to have you back in class. Thanks. Okay, and how about Tiago? Hi there, Tiago. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. What about you? I'm doing great. Doing very well. And uh, Tiago, where are you from? I'm from Brazil, too. From Brazil as well. And uh, the picture here that you have, uh, what rock band is that? It's uh, Swedish. A band called Million Call. Okay, cool. Is it? Uh, I imagine it's a uh, heavy metal then, right? Hardcore. <laughs> hardcore, yeah. So most of most of the heavy metal, uh, hardcore metal, uh, speed metal bands come out of Sweden. It's uh, it's yeah. funny. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Very good. Very good. Uh, let's see. Let's try um, Amparo one more time. Hi there, Amparo. How are you? Hi, teacher. Doing well, thank you. Great. Great. Okay, you guys. Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. All right. So uh, the link is in the chat box right now. I'm Audi. Let's start with you. Okay. And we'll have you read from uh, one not so fine. Okay, and read down to. Uh, couldn't bite him, please. Okay, one not so fine day. It was it was raining horse and cattle. It wasn't raining cats and dogs because Farmer Bobby didn't have any of those. Anyway, it was raining like crazy on the farm. Bacon didn't Bacon didn't think much of it. Because he was a pig, he liked the rain. 
it made mud. Mud was nice to rowing. If he did that, it kept him cool, and it coated his body so the flies and bugs couldn't bite him. All right, very good. Uh, let's go to uh, it kept him cool right here. That's it kept him cool. Make sure to pronounce the L uh, at the end with cool here. It kept him cool. It kept him cool. There you go. Good. Uh, next is um, roll in. Um, okay, right here. Um, to roll in. Make sure to pronounce the L on roll. To roll in. Try that. Rolling. To rolling. Mm -hmm. There you go. Good. Uh, next up is uh, the word wasn't. So right here you said it wasn't eh, raining. Okay, so um, stop right on that T. Instead of wasn't, eh, it's wasn't. It wasn't raining. Try that. It wasn't, it wasn't raining. Good. Nice job. And last one for you is it was. Okay, so here, um, it was, so we want to stop on that T. Instead of it, it was, it was. Try that. It was. It was. There you go. Good. All right, nice job. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Next up is Ambato. Please yeah. read from, uh, <laughs> that was great. Uh, finish, uh, finish this paragraph and read down to... Uh, overflowed, please. Okay, that was great. Wool stood around. Wool stood around chewing wet grass. He was not a picky sheep. He was sort of simple, except the rain made him look like a wet cat. He looked funny with a big soggy coat of wool on. It was it was much like any old storm, except it wasn't. It kept raining and then rained some more. It seemed as if it would never stop. In fact, it rained so much that the beaches filled up. The irrigation canal overflowed. Okay, very good. All right, so this here is the irrigation canal. The irrigation canal. canal. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, next up is ditches. Short I sound. The ditches filled up. The ditches filled up. All right. Very good. Uh, next is fact. Okay. Now pronounce that K, uh, the C, C, T sound. In fact. In fact. Good. Much better. And the last one for you is uh, right here. Uh, Okay, made him look like a wet cat. So we're looking at look, look here instead of look, look. Made him look like a wet cat. Made him look like a wet cat. Okay, one more time. Made him look like a wet cat. Made him look like a wet, a wet cat. Good. All right. Nice job. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Next up is Heidi. And Heidi, please read uh, from It Was Getting Very Soggy down to, yeah, we'll have you finish that up, down to um, um, his pen filled with water. Please. It was getting very soggy out, like a bar of uh, cereal left to sit. Everything was turning mushy. The floor of the barn was soaked. Hay and straw were floating and the ground was more puddles than ground. A drumstick, the chicken was cracking wildly in the coop as the water rose. She did everything she could to keep her eggs dry. Cheddar moved with concern, and saddlebacks, the horse moved away into the uh, pasture to higher ground when his pen filled with water. Okay, very good. <clears throat> Let's go to the word higher. Okay, make sure to give me a good R sound here instead of higher. 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 There you go. Good, good. Uh, next is, uh, okay, so 
uh, we're working on the SH sound here and here into could. Okay, so she did everything she could. She did everything she could. She did everything she could. Okay, uh, much better. Uh, now, uh, with could instead of ku, okay, give me an u sound. She could. She could. Okay, one more time. Instead of ku, open your mouth up. Ku, could. She could. There you go. Good. All right, let's go to the word clucking. Instead of cluck, clocking with an ah, it's cl, clucking. Clucking. Awesome. Awesome. Nice job. Uh, next is uh, the word uh, straw. Right here, instead of straw with an oo at the end, okay, it's only an ah sound. Straw. 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 All right. Very good. And the last one for you is the word soggy. Right here, instead of so, soggy, it's sa with an ah sound. Soggy. Soggy. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, next up is uh, Ikawa. Yes. Ikawa, please read from uh, Things Were Looking Bad. Uh, finish this paragraph and read down to here where it says um, on his small house, please. Okay. Things were looking bad, but Bacon still didn't mind. She was too chubby, and she could float quite well. Wool, on the other hand, struggled across the soggy grounds to keep up with his chunky friend. While Bacon floated casually along in the cold summer rainwater, Wool was being dragged, dragged under by the weight of his soaked wool. Bad boy, the mean old goat has the sense to climb up on his small house. Okay, very good. Let's take a look at three parts here. Okay, first up is his soaked wool. Instead of sucked, so, soaked. His soaked wool. His soaked wool. Good, his good. Much better. Wool. His soaked wool. Right. His soaked right, wool. Uh, there you go. That last time was good. Make sure to add that T there. Good. Uh, next one here. Dragged under. Okay. Dragged uh, being, under. Being dragged under. Try that. Being dragged under. Good, yeah. good. Much better. That was awesome. Uh, next is, and your last one is, across. Okay. Instead of across with an O, it's an ah sound here. Across. 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 All right. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Okay. All right, Jessica, you're up next. Uh, please read from Wool Tried to Get Up. Okay, and read down to the end of the paragraph. And then let me have you read to here, if not dry, please. Okay. Um, Wool tried to get up there. Too, since the water was high enough to get him over the fence and to the goat house, but that was as far as he got. As soon as he tried to scramble up on the small ship, uh, the goat had butted him back into the water and stomped his feet. He was a nice animal. Wood and bacon made there was way over to the pastry. When saddlebags was standing high, if not dry. Okay, very good. All right, now this word here is pronounced pasture. Pasture. Try that. Pasture. There you go. Very good. Uh, Next up is stomped with a T sound at the end. Stomped instead of stomped, stomped. Stomped. Okay, one more time. Stomped. Stomped. Good, good. Much better. Uh, next is uh, the word shed right here. Instead of shod, okay, with an A, ah, it's an E eh sound. 
Shed. 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 There you go. Good. Uh, next is, all right, so, um, was as far as he got. Was as far as he got. Try that. Was as far as he got. Good. Much better. Nice vowel sounds there this time. Okay. And your last one is the apostrophe S. The goat's house. The goat's house. Try that. The goat's house. Mm -hmm. One more time. The goat's house. The goat's house. Awesome. Nice job. Thank you. The goat's house. Okay, next up is, let's see here, Long, I believe. Yep. Okay, yeah. Long, please read from um, The Rain Continued uh, down to uh, Work Cut Out for Him, please. Yeah. The rain continued to pour down, but as late up on that hill. The trees of them didn't have to swim. From there, they waited out the storm. It ended a few hours later, but the water lasted four days. All, of all of them, only Phyllis seemed pleased with the situations. He got to swim all over the place. His little pond became like a lake for several days. Farmer born sure has his work cut out for him. Whoops, sorry about that. I thought I was uh, already unmuted. Okay, so uh, let's go to this word here. The word is fillet. Try that. Fillet. 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 Uh, the T is silent. Fillet. Fillet. There you go. Okay, very good. Uh, next is uh, the word lasted. Okay, the water lasted for days. The water lasted for days. Okay, very good. Uh, next up is um, uh, three of them, the three. Okay, now uh, here we have one, two, three THs, the three of them. Okay, you'll the be switching between uh, voice TH and unvoiced TH. Okay, the three of them. Try that. The three of them. Good, one more time. The three of them. The three of them. Great job. Great job. And let's see here. Uh, your last one is continued. The stress is on that I. Okay, instead of continued, it's continued. Continued. Awesome. Okay, nice job. Thank you, Long. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Uh, next is. Okay, Salvatore. Salvatore, are you there? Yes, yes, teacher. All right, excellent. Uh, please, uh, please uh, finish up the story. Reading from he had a lot of cleaning down to any time soon, please. Okay. He had a lot of cleaning to do. His water pump ran from sun up to sundown to get the water out of the pants and into the canal. Everyone came out of the storm. All right, but it was a close call for wool. He decided he wasn't going swimming again anytime soon. Okay, very good. All right, let's go to the word again. So the A-E, typically it would be a, a long A sound. Here this is going to be a short I. Ag again. Try that. Again. Okay, one more time. Instead of again, again, it's again, again, again. Try that. Again. There you go. Good. Uh, next up is swimming. Instead of swimming, 
Okay, use an unvoiced S. Sw swimming. Swimming. Okay, one more time. You're saying zw. Instead of swimming, it's sw swimming. Swimming. There you go. That's the good S sound. Okay, good. Uh, next up is... Um, Okay, he decided. Okay, make sure to pronounce that H. He. He decided. He decided. Mm hmm. Very good. And the last one here is um, canal. Okay, the stress is on the end of the word. Canal. Canal. There you go. Good. Good. Okay, you guys. Uh, let's go to our next story. And Salvatore, I'll have you continue there as well. Give me one second. Okay, the flood. Okay. Here we go. This is the next one. Oops. Here we go. Okay. Okay, Salvatore, please uh, read from Bacon, uh, Bacon down to Early Riser, please. Bacon the pig was up early, earlier than the other animals in fact. He liked to get up and smell the morning manure. He was that kind of guy, an early riser. Okay, very nice, very nice. So the only thing I want to practice here is up early. Okay, you're adding H's to the beginning, saying hop hurley. Okay, so take off hop. the H. You want to say uh, take off the H. Uh, up. up, up early. Up early. There you go. So um, pig was up early. Pig was up early. There you go. Much better. Much better. There was a little bit of an H on up, but much less than the first time. Okay? Very good. Okay. And, uh, Salvatore, much better job with your R sounds. Your R's are sounding awesome. Thank okay? You. Really Thank good you. job. Yeah, really good job. Thank you. Okay. Um, all right. Let's go to uh, T. Okay. Yeah. T, please continue from his friend. Okay, and let's see. Um, let me have you um, uh, read down to the end of this paragraph and continue to hear where it says, uh, the, toward the barn, toward the open barn door, please. Okay, his friend, Wool and sheep, Wool the sheep, was not much of a morning sheep. Wool was a bit of a night sheep, able to stay up until any old hour, discussing politics, philosophy, and quantum physics. No, not really. Mostly, he talked about grass and flowers, the things he wanted to eat. Wool's lips smacked noisily, even in his sleep, as a leftover mouthful of grass from yesterday slowly dissolved into greenish Pest that dripped from his sleeping mouth. Bacon nudged Wu awake and nodded toward the open barn door. Good, good, nice job. All right, let's go to nudged right here. This is nudged. Nudged. Good, good. Okay. Uh, next up, we have um, okay, mouthful. Okay, so instead of mouthful with an oo sound, it's full, mouthful. Try that. Mouthful, mouthful. There you go. All right. Now make sure that you're pronouncing the L at the end instead of full. Okay, it's full. Excuse me, full with an L. Full. Full. There you go. That's better. Okay. Mouthful. Okay. There you go. Good. Let's go to uh, the word philosophy. 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 Okay, good. And politics. Okay, stress po at the beginning as well. Politics. Okay, good, good. And I think that was it, but let's see. Ah, yes. 
Okay, the word sheep instead of ship. Okay, give me a long E sound. She, sheep. Sheep. Good, one more sheep. time. Sheep. 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 Great, great. All right, nice job, D. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, next up is... Uh, okay, it looks like Tiago took off. Let's go to Amaudi. Amaudi, please read from Farmer Bob. Okay, finish this paragraph. And read down to... Um, uh, yep, uh, having him around was. Please. Okay. Farmer Bob, Farmer Bob, let the two of them out early in the morning. He believed in free-range animals and generally let them wander, wander from pen to pen so long as they didn't escape or squabble with the other animal, other animal, animals. They stopped to see bad boy first. He was a grumpy gus, gus, always, always, always is, ma is making his harness into fences or ramming, ramming his head into one protect, one protect flanks and it, oh my gosh, thid, thid, I don't know. He Five. was Five. Five. Thighs, okay. He was a mean old god, and even far, Farmer Bobby couldn't quite figure out what they proposed of having him around us. Was, was. Okay, very good. All right, let's go to the word purpose. Now, with this word here, instead of saying purpose, okay, the uh, this word is pronounced Per piss. Purpose. 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 Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, so the O S E is actually piss. Okay? Purpose. 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 Okay, good. Next up is uh, the word unprotected. Instead of one, okay, this is a uh, un. Unprotected. Unprotected. Okay, very good. Uh, next is. <clears throat> Let's see the word ramming right here. Ram, ramming. Ramming, ramming. Great. Great. Okay, let's try this here. Always, always smacking. Always smacking. Always smacking. Good. Okay. Uh, next is uh, the word squabble right here. Squaw, squabble. Squabble, squabble. Okay, good. And the last one here is generally. The stress is at the very beginning. Generally. 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 All right. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Uh, next up is Amparo. And Amparo, please read from currently. And uh, down to um no. yeah uh, down to uh, reassuring reassuringly familiar that'll be okay go ahead okay Coverney he was head budding an old rusty pale neither of them seemed to be winning which rule should thoughtfully as they w watched but Bacon shook his head which was hard to tell with such a thick neck, and the two continued on to the cheddar's pen. Cheddar was a kindly milk cow. She never gave anyone any grief, and was sweet as could be. She did chew a haircut uh, loudly, though which were, which they confound Ross, but wool found reassuringly familiar. Okay, very good. All right, let's go to reassuringly instead of reassuring, mm -hmm. reassuringly familiar. Reassuringly familiar. There you go. Good. Uh, this word here instead of gross, it's grow, gross. Gross. Mm-hmm. Good, good. 
and uh, the last one for you is shook right here so shook his head okay so make sure to add that K sound shook shook his head shook his head okay very good and uh, let's see here that's that's it very good nice job thank you okay next up is Heidi Heidi please read from um, drumstick uh, was waiting down to people never gave up please mm -hmm. uh, drumstick was waiting in the kitchen coop just down the path from cheddar's pen she was hunched over a fresh egg white and shiny when she saw them coming she started clucking wildly, wildly and flapping her wings she had this thing about protecting her eggs, even though Farmer Bob stole them every day. Some people never gave up. Okay, nice job. Nice job. Let's take a look at two parts. Okay, we are at, okay, so uh, clucking wildly. Clucking wildly. Try that. Clucking wildly. Okay, one more time. Wildly. So uh, do not end the D sound. You don't want to say wildly. 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 Okay, uh, try that, Heidi. Clucking wildly. wildly. Clucking wildly. Okay, all right, much better. And the last one here is shy, shiny. Instead of sh uh, shiny, it's shy, shiny. Diphthong. Shiny. I said shiny. Okay, it was more shy. It was uh, you had more of an e sound there, shiny. Okay, it's an i e sound. I e shy. What's that? No, no, it's okay. White and shiny. Uh huh. Shy. Okay. Yeah, shiny. So, okay, so the the difference is, okay, it's a diphthong. There's two vowel sounds in it. Okay, so when you say the sound, it's i e shy. Shiny. 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 Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's go to um, Ikawa. Okay. Ikawa, please read from after that. Um, and down to horse was tied up, please. Okay. After that, they move on the, on the pond. Which was a small, peanut-shaped affair, complete with cattails and lily pets. Flat, the fish bubbled up at the surface as as they approached, hoping for some sort of treat. They hadn't brought anything, though. Wool, wool, cropped some on the grass at the edge of the pond, enjoying the moist greens immensely. Their last stop in their social runs was over at the stable, where saddlebags the horse was tied up. Okay, very good. Let's go to the word horse instead of horse. Okay, pronounce that horse. R, whore, horse. 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 Okay, one more time. Whore, horse. Horse. There you go. Much better with the R. Okay, uh, let's go to uh, the word immensely. Okay, this E right here is not pronounced. So it's immensely. Immensely. Okay, one more time. Uh, instead of immensely, immensely. Go right to the L. Immensely. Immensely. Okay, all right. Better. Uh, let's go to the word moist. Okay, so this is an OE sound. Moist. Moist. Great, great. Uh, next is the word though instead of though. Okay, the GH does not make a sound. Though. Though. Okay, very good. Uh, here, uh, this word is brought instead of brought. Okay, it's an ah sound. Bra, brought. Brought. Okay, very nice. Um, let's see. Okay, next is bobbed with an ah sound here. Ba, bobbed. Bobbed. 
Okay, one more time. Bob. Bob bobbed. Bobbed. Okay, Bob. good. Um, and the last one for you is that. Okay, make a uh, make sure that your tongue is used for that th sound instead of after that. It's after that. After that. After that. Good. One more time. After that. After that. Great. All right. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Next up is let's see, uh, Jessica. Okay, Jessica, please read from he had f uh, f uh, a feed bag. Okay, finish this paragraph and read down to uh, read down to here. Say hello to everyone, please. When when is um, what is true start? Okay, right here where it says he had a feed bag. It's at the bottom of the story. Okay. He had a feed bag over his face and was munching oats loudly. Bacon's stomach growled jealously. He would kill for oats. Something cruel showing between his teeth. All he ever got was much as slops. A feeding bell hanged, and the two friends' eyes widened. They made some tracks, rushing back to the barn, the safe old barn, where they were fed. It was a simple life, and it was nice they stretched their legs now and then and say hello to everyone. Okay, very good. All right, let's go to um, a nice two stretch instead of nice, nice that stretch. Okay, it was nice to stretch. Nice to stretch. Okay. Very good. Let's go to... Um, the word widened right here instead of widened okay this e right here is not pronounced okay widened 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 mm -hmm. now make sure to pronounce the n instead of widened it's widened widened there you go good um, next up is feeding bell a feeding bell try that Feeding bell. Okay, now instead of feeding, it's fee. Okay, long E sound. Feeding, a feeding bell. Feeding bell? Mm -hmm. Yep, and now with the word bell, make sure to touch the top of your tongue to your mouth. Uh, <laughs> sorry, touch the tip of your tongue to the top of your mouth. Bell. 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 There you go. Good, good. Bell. Um, next up is uh, mush. Mush with an SH sound. Mush. There you go. Good. Um, this word here is growled. 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 Okay, good. Much better. And uh, this word here is loudly. Instead of lewdly, lewd, it's lau. Loudly. Loudly. Great, great. And your last one here is munch. Munching. 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 Good. All right. Nice job. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Let's go to Long. Yeah. Okay, Long. Uh, finish up this story, and then I'll have you read a bit more in the next story, please. Yes. From If Only. If Only the... Yes, if only they could go somewhere else for a change. But where would they go? What would they see? More important, where were breakfast and dinner come from? All right, that was that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Um, the uh, the only word here, you you said it right here, but the first time you had wood, it came out a little strange. Okay, so let's try this right here. This is all. So, but where would they go? Where would they go? Where would they go? Great, great. All right, nice job. Okay. 
All right, let's go to our our next story, you guys. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, the link is in the Google chat box and the um, and the Verbling chat box. Okay. All right. So long. Let's have you continue. Okay. Uh, please read from Farmer Bob down to uh, that uh, way very easily, please. Yes. Farmer Bob was not smartest man. In fact, in fact, he was downright forgetful. He would have forgotten which way to put on his shirt if he could button up the back of the shirt. But his arm didn't reach that way very easily. Okay, very good. Uh, let's go to the word shirt. Now here, um, you are focusing on that SH. Your SH was good, okay, but your vowel sound with the R, okay, you need to curve your tongue up just a bit. Instead of shut, it's sure, shirt, shirt. Shirt. There you go, one more time. Shirt. Shirt. Good. Uh, next is... Okay, he would, okay, so here, uh, he would have forgotten. Okay, with the word would, it sounded like you pronounced a, a small G sound at the very beginning of would, okay, saying he would, okay, instead of good, it's he, ooh, he would, he would. Yeah, he would have forgotten. There you go, good, and... Okay, the last one here is uh, he was. Okay, same type of thing. He was downright forgetful. Instead of he was, he ooh, he ooh, he was. He was downright forgetful. He was downright forgetful. Okay, one more time. He was. Make sure you add, pronounce that, he that was. S. He was oh, downright okay. forgetful. Good. All right. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Okay, let's go to Salvatore. Yes. All right, Salvatore, please read from uh, So When It Came. Okay, finish this paragraph and read down to, uh, yep, uh, would, be, would Be Someday, please. Okay. So when it came to his farm, he had trouble remembering what animals were good good for. He came up with the surprisingly clever idea to name his animals after what he could get out of them. His favorite animal was a pig which he named Bacon. Bacon was his favorite pork product even more than ribs or pork Chops. Every time he saw that fat pink pig, his mouth started to water, thinking about the delicious breakfast he would be someday. Okay, very good. Let's go to <clears throat> the word delicious. Instead of delicious, it's delicious. 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 Okay, very good. Uh, next is the word mouth. Okay, this is an ow sound. Mau, mouth. Mouth. Good, good. Uh, next, uh, next up is every time. Here you pronounce an H at the beginning saying every time. Okay, this is a short E. Eh, ev. Every time. Every time. Okay, one more time. So you're saying he. Okay, so instead of he, I want you to say, uh, let's just practice the beginning sound here. I want you to say ev, eh, ev. Try that, ev. Ev. There you go. Good. One more time. Ev. Hev. Okay, almost. You're saying he. Okay, so take off that H. It's eh, 
Ev. Ev. There you go. Okay, now this is Ev. Every time. Every time. Good, much better, much better. Okay, um, next up is the word favorite. Instead of favorite, it's fav, favorite, long A sound, favorite. Favorite. Okay, good. Um, let's go to um, the word, let's see, he came. Okay, he, uh, he came up. Now here you are you are pronouncing uh, pronouncing the H with up. He came up. Okay, take off that H. He came up. He he came up. Okay, so you're saying hop. Okay, instead of ha, adding an H there, it's uh up. Try that. He came up. He came up. Okay, so let's uh, let's just try this word alone. Instead of hop, I want you to say uh. Up, push on that vowel sound. Okay, no other sound. So, uh, up, up. Good, good. One more time. Up, up. Okay, good. So that's what we want to pronounce after the word uh, came. Okay. So this is came up, came up, came, came up. Yes. There you go. Great. All right. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you, Chad. Mhm. Mm okay. Pictures, breakfast, Sunday. All right, very good. All right, let's go to Amaudi. And Amaudi, please read from Bacon Was. And read down to... Uh, read down to here where it says, and the flowers too, please. Okay. Bacon Was a large and energetic... Energect young pig, quick to run and play. His sheep he named Oo. It was fuzzy and sloppy looking, with one ear that that dropped. He never seemed to stop crying, crying, chewing grass or being stable. He liked to wander through tall grasses eating the seeds off the top of the grass and the flowers too. Okay, very good. All right, let's go to end of the. So here you're saying end of the, end of the flowers. So this is and the, and the flowers too. Try that, and the flowers too. Grass and the flowers too. Great, great. Uh, next up is the word stubborn, right here. Stubborn, instead of born, stubborn. 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 Okay, good. Uh, next is um, uh, okay, drooped right here. So um, if there was a double P, yes, we would say dropped. Okay, but since there's only one P that and two O's, this is drew, drooped. Drooped, drooped. Mhm. Mm there you go. Good. And let's see here. Okay. Um, how about the word wool? Okay. Make wool. sure you're curving, curving your tongue up at the end of the word. Wool. One more time. Wool. Okay. Good. And the last one here is energetic. Right here. Energetic. Energetic. Okay. One more time. Energetic. 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 Good. Good. Much better. All right, nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Flowers two. Okay, Amparo, please read from. Uh, this had the unfortunate. Okay, f uh, finish this paragraph and. Okay, read down to uh, came for milk, please. Okay, this had the unfortunate, fortunate uh, side effect of getting every manner of grass, wheat, and bird caught in his wool. It was not attractive. Uh, Farmer Bob had other animals too, just like bacon and wool. He named them after what they were used for. The cow he named Shedar because she made the meal and cheese came from milk. 
Okay, very good. All right, so this last time you said milk good. The first time you had left off the K. Okay, so because she made milk. Try that. Because she make, she made milk. There you go. Good. One more time. Because she made milk. Because she made milk. Awesome. Okay. Um, and uh, last one here for you is unfortunate. Okay, so the A-T-E is an it sound. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Awesome. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. From milk. All right. Let's go to Heidi. Okay, Heidi, please read from The Horse Was Named. And, well, let's uh, just go ahead and read it. So uh, down to uh, But You With His Horns, please. The horse was named the Saddlebox because he helped to carry things. The chicken was named Drumstick, obviously, as that is the most fun part of the chicken to eat or at least from above, uh, thought so. Then there was a goat named the Bad Boy because he was horribly troublesome and had a tendency to try to try uh, to head bat you with his horns. Okay, very good. All right. Okay, so this is had a tendency. Had a tendency. Had a tendency. Okay, make sure to pronounce the N right before the, the C. Tendency. Had a tendency. There you go. That's it. Okay. Next is um, Farmer Bob Thought So. Farmer Bob Thought So. Try that. Farm, farm Bob Thought So. Okay, Farmer. Farmer. Farmer there Bob Thought So. There you go. Good, good. Um, and, okay, last one here. This is. Saddle bags, saddle, saddle bags, saddle bags. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, head bow with his horns. Awesome. Let's go to uh, Ikawa. And Ikawa, please read from finally. Get okay, down to uh, uh, would he ever find out? Okay. Finally, there was a big old fish in the pond, which had never filled it, because one day, she was going to be just that. Farmer Bob was a hungry and simple man. His animals were anything but simple. If only he knew the crazy things they could get up to on his farm, his, he might think of them differently. Will he ever find out? Okay, very good. All right, let's go to the word differently. Okay, so here uh, we're not going to pronounce that that uh, e right after the f. So instead of differently, it's different. Differently. Try that. Differently. Okay, almost. You're saying different. Okay, so remove the e. Instead of different, it's different. Differently. Differently. There you go. Good, good. Uh, next is um, okay. He he knows. Okay, he knows the crazy things. Okay, it would be knows. He knows. Oh, sorry. Uh, if yeah, if you were <laughs> if you were going to, if sorry if you're going to be uh, uh, pronouncing that in uh, present, but yes, yeah, so you want to take off the uh, s there. So he knew the crazy things. Sorry. He knew the crazy things. Yeah. Yeah, when you re initially read it, you added the S on there. Okay? Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was confusing myself. I wrote my note here that I wrote down was, he knows. And, and then I looked at it, and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. <laughs> uh, last, last one here is um, filet. Okay? So filet. The T is silent here. Filet. Filet. Okay, the T is silent. Okay, fillet. Fillet. There you go. Yeah, so this is a, a, a cut of fish. Okay, fillet. All right. Okay, very good. Um, all right, let's go to our next story. <clears throat> K. 
Okay. We're just going to read a bit of this one here because we're almost out of time. And next up is Jessica. Okay. Okay. All right, Jessica, uh, please read from uh, Frank's uncle. Uh, finish the paragraph and read down to sort of, please. Okay. Frank's uncle gave him a hide to solve. What has three or four legs, no back, arms, or head, and you sit on it? Frank has stumped, but never liked it to let his uncle win in riddle contests. So he looked around his house searching for a possible answer. In his room, he had a bed which had four legs, so, sort of. Okay, very good. All right, let's go to the word answers. Okay, the W is silent here. So instead of saying answers, it's answers. Try that. Answers. There you go. Good. Um, and uh, your next one here is contests. Make sure to pronounce this S at the very end. Contests. Contests. Okay. Very good. Uh, next is the word stumped. Instead of stumped, it's stumped. Stumped. Okay. Very nice. And... Let's see, your last one here is uh, an R word. So instead of hiddle, it's ri riddle. 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 There you go. Okay, nice job. Thank you. Thank you. And let's see, let's go to Long. Long, please read from uh, it actually. Okay, finish the paragraph and read down to you. I uh, didn't sit on it, please. Yeah. <clears throat> it actually had four rollers and a couple extra spots that held it up. And so it had a headball which were shots of light ahead. And he, he didn't really sit on it so much as lie down. How about his dresser? That had four legs and no heads. Or bag, but he didn't sit on it. Okay, all right, good. All right, let's go to uh, no head or back. Okay, so on head and back, you need to pronounce that D and the K instead of he or back. Okay, no head yeah. or back. Try that. No head or back. Good, good. This word here is pronounced dresser, dress, dresser. Dresser. Okay, give me an S sound instead of dress. Okay, point your tongue downward. Dress, dresser. Dresser. There you go, good. Uh, next up is, okay, uh, he didn't really. He didn't really. He didn't really. There you go, nice job with didn't. Okay, Did, good, and yeah. uh, the last one for you is um, extra. Okay, a uh, couple extra spots. Couple extra spots. Couple extra spots. Okay, this is extra. 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 There you go. Couple extra spots. Couple extra. Couple extra spark. Okay, now this is a TS. Instead of spark, spots. Spots. All right, Couple much better. Sprouts. Good. Okay, nice job. All right, you guys. Um, and I apologize, Salvatore. I tried to make it uh, back around to you a uh, third time, but I am uh, out of time, uh, and I need to I need to roll to uh, my last class for the All night. Okay. No problem, uh, Chad. Thank th you. Thank you guys for for coming in. It was great having you here. Um, I you. don't have any uh, uh, classes. Uh, uh, like classroom classes tomorrow. And my next classroom class would be on Sunday, okay? All right, you guys. Thank you for Take coming care. in. Take care. See you. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Bye. 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 Bye.
что да? Ну, так, вот, да. да. Ну, да, 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 да,